All right, coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Volkov is eight years his senior. He weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago Volkov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, only a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, the Flash! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly up. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Got to be careful, Armbar. Recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. That's with the right hand. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Volkov gets caught with that punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And they clinch one. 
once again. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. And both guys really flowing with authority. Look at oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice punch land over the top. Kick to the body by Volkov. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands. Whoa! Oh, oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough That's it. He got him. <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. You knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.